Miko, are you... Are you sure about this? Yes, A. Eh? I am positive. What's the worst that can happen? What if he... What if he hates me? Oh, A, eh, sweetie, I'm sorry to say, but... I think that's already happened. Mm, I guess you are correct, but... What if... Ah, 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 ah. Shh, shh, shh. He's joining. I don't want to do this! Look, it's not for that long. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, but... Why is Little Miss Cottagecore here? I... Um... Um, excuse you, Miss Gucci, but that is no way to speak to an Archon. He wanted me here. For comfort. And why is that, Kuni Kazushi? Ugh, I told you. Um... Mom, I don't like being called that. Oh my, Archon, we texted you this before the call. He prefers Skara, or Wanderer, or... Hat guy, but those are the only three that he likes. So please, don't call him Kuni Kazushi. Ugh, please. I made him. I'll call him what I please. Besides, it's just a phase. Ugh, here we go with this shit. Look, Miss Radish Lover, you can leave the call now. I'm sure Kuni Kazushi is quite alright dealing with this on his own. Excuse me? Can't you see he's scared out of his mind? All because of your fucking negligence, Shogun! Hey! You better watch it. Oh, shut the fuck up, Miss Coochie. I wasn't speaking to the bitch who dresses up every day like she's going to the biggest furry convention in the world. Besides, what relevance are you to this conversation? She's my significant other, you moldy dumpling. Really? You're bold dating Princess Cadence with a fuck ton of fetishes over here. Anyways, we brought you here today because we, well, A... Has something to say. Then by all means, go ahead. Kuni Kazushi? Oh my Archon, what did I just say? Skara, I apologize for not giving you a better life. Are you serious right now? I will beat the shit out of you! It's okay, Nahida. I've got this handled. Okay. You've got some nerve inviting me here, apologizing for neglecting me, and then you insult the only person who cares about me? No, oh, please, don't act like that. You've got plenty of fans who adore you. <sighs> Yaimiko, the Scar Nation is fucking terrifying. Also, I don't care for them. We do care, Kunigazu. If you cared, then why did you leave me to die? If it weren't for Nahida's help, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So fuck you, Shogun, and fuck you, Miko. Calm down, bitch boy. Jeez. I truly don't want to hear it from you two. You both are the definition of a Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie ship. If you wanted to cosplay as brownies, you could have said so. Oh, Excuse me? That's my fucking nephew, bitch! What the fuck is happening here? Hey, are you messing with your child? Again? Makoto? You're still here? Also, how did you know I had a kid? I have my ways. Rumor spreads fast. I wanted to stop by one final time to see my nephew for the first time ever. And you're slandering him and his aunt? Uh, Makoto, you can't be serious. Shut the fuck up, Twilight Sparkle wannabe. I haven't seen my nephew in years. And this is probably the only and first time I will ever get to see him. So why don't you shut your trap and go make out with your girlfriend over there? I just wanted to drop in and say hi, and I wanted to know how you're doing. I'm doing good? That's great. Ugh, you know what? Fuck this shit. This was a mistake. I will be taking my leave as well. Don't let the door hit your fat ass on the way out, bitch. Ugh. Glad to know someone has my sass. It's lovely to meet you two. It was lovely to meet you too, Makoto. So, Skara, want some ice cream? Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. <gasps> Fuck yeah! Alright, let's go! Woo!